Display Panels Next to the Motion Panel is the Display Panel. This controls the display of objects in your scene. Let's start with... Here you can see you can hide objects according to their category, like Geometry. This hides all geometry in the scene. Shapes hides all shapes in the scene. Lights hides all lights in the scene. Cameras hides all cameras in the scene. Helpers hides all helpers in the scene. Space warps hides all space warps in the scene. Particle systems hides all particle systems in the scene. Bone objects hides all bones in the scene. IK chain hides all IK chains in the scene. Point hides all points in the scene. All hides everything in the scene. None unhides everything in the scene. Invert hides everything that is visible and unhides everything that is currently hidden. Add adds a display filter category to the list. Remove removes a display filter category. None deselects all highlighted display filters in the list. This is very helpful when you're working with some complex model. Next is Hide and Freeze. Here you can select any option according to your requirement. Hide Selected hides the selected objects. Hide Unselected hides all visible objects except the selected ones. Use this to hide all objects except the one you're working on. Hide by Name displays a dialog you use to hide objects you choose from a list. Hide by Hit hides any object you click in the viewport. Unhide All unhides all hidden objects. The Unhide buttons are available only when you have specifically hidden one or more objects. They won't unhide objects hidden by category. Unhide by Name displays a dialog you use to unhide objects you choose from a list. Note, if you select an object on a hidden layer, a dialog will pop up prompting you to unhide the object's layer. You cannot unhide an object on a hidden layer. Hide Frozen Objects This hides any frozen objects. Turn it off to display hidden frozen objects. The next is Freeze. This is the same as the Hide options. You can freeze any selection of objects in your scene by clicking the required options from the list here. By default, frozen objects turn a dark gray. They remain on the screen, but they can't be selected. So this lets you protect objects from accidental editing and speeds up redraw. You can also change how they're displayed, or in what form, or change the viewport characteristics. Thus, the display panel provides full access to tools that control the display of objects in the scene.